In this video, we will talk about enabling Honor Lock as a proctoring option for you for your classes. So you'll select your course and you'll scroll down to settings. And then you'll need to go over to navigation and Honor Lock will be the should be the bottom one that you'll drag up. I'm just going to put it right there. Make sure that you hit save. And you'll now see Honor Lock. If I go to the home for my course, you'll see Honor Lock on the side there. So to activate Honor Lock, you'll need to select it. You'll need to authorize them to access your account. Okay, I do not have any. Okay, so let's do. So um, I clicked out of Honor Lock, went back in, and you'll see that I currently have uh, one quiz listed in my course. So I'll need to select enable. So you'll need to create your, your quiz or exam first over here in quizzes. So I'm going to enable that. And then you'll see the options for all the different things that I would like when it comes to honor lock. And some of them are, um, where it's locked and you don't have the opportunity to change that. So once again, if you're going to use honor lock, all of your students will need a webcam because they'll use a picture ID to identify themselves to start the test. You can type in instructions to students. Um, students will be able to use their notes and book to take the test or well, you know, whatever else that you need on there and then um, any guidelines for the proctor that you would like to add as well and i'm going to hit enable so now you'll see that it is enabled in the in the class i can go back in and, ch and check the settings if i want once a student actually takes a a test or a quiz in there, I'll be able to get some more detail with the results that will come through on our lock. And I will be doing an example video to kind of show you what it looks like when a student actually takes a, a test or quiz using honor lock. Thanks. And that's it for setting up honor lock. Really, really simple to use. Hope this helps.